Hello YouTubers, it's the Omega 31 Welcome back for a 1.3.1 bucket tutorial. This is going to be a straightforward and simple tutorial, so please follow along. But first, please thumbs up the video. I'd like to get a thousand likes. That would be terrific. Um, and also I'd like to tell you about my server. Just look in the description. You can come join it. It's PvP. And last but not least, if you don't want to worry about hosting the server, we can do it for you. Check out our hosting company, gizmoservers.com. Alright, now that we got that covered, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to do is look in the description and you'll need to download and install WinRAR. It'll look like this. Once you have it on your desktop, just install it. Okay, now that you have it installed, you have the bucket server file here. Okay, the plugin package, we'll cover that in the next video just click the annotation that we'll have for that um, in the video or in the description your choice um, but right now just open up the bucket server and drag and drop the folder onto your desktop so it looks like that open up the folder what you're gonna need to do is install these programs all of them um, this is notepad plus plus these are Java the Java versions that you'll need so just install all that stuff and once you have it installed open up the bucket server here you have the start server bat file okay what we need to do is find out how much RAM our computer has so click start and right click computer and go to properties here you will find the information on your computer as you can see mine has 8 gigs of RAM and a 64 bit operating system alright so right click on start server and edit with notepad plus plus this is the maximum amount of ram the xmx value xms value and the xms value these this is the max so change this to whatever you like so if you have eight gigabytes i would suggest using four like me uh, if you have four gigabytes i would use two if you have two gigabytes i'd probably use one or maybe even change it to five hundred and five hundred and twelve M. Change the G to an M and you would have to change this to like 256 M. Okay? And then once you save those changes, just exit out of that and you're ready to start the server for the first time. Yeah. So now that you started the server, it's going to generate all the files like the worlds and all that stuff. So while it does that, we'll go into the server properties, right click on it and edit with Notepad++. You can change the settings as you like. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you could change like the level seed or something. I'm just gonna put one. Um, yeah. Okay. So the uh, level seed um, server IP. Leave this blank unless you're using Hamachi. If you're using Hamachi, put the Hamachi IP here. But otherwise, just leave a blank. Um, all the other settings you can change as you like game mode, difficulty, PvP, online mode. Online mode, leave this true. If you set it to false, people who didn't buy the game can join the, your server. But the bad thing is, is they can hack your account. So I would leave it true. But you know, it's up to you. Max players, um, change this at your discretion. So, like, if you have a couple gigs of RAM dedicated to the server, you could probably do 40 players. But it also depends on your internet connection speed okay and then change the message of the day to what you want and all that stuff so once you're done just save changes and it looks like everything is done for the server part so we can go ahead and close the server I'll just type in stop and then close okay and now we gotta do the best part of the tutorial and that is port forwarding on Windows 7 and Vista just click start and type in CMD on XP go to run and type CMD okay and now you got this little black box thingy just type in ipconfig find your network that you're on that the computer is running on mine is on a wireless network okay and once you found it just type your or write down your ipv4 and your default gateway once you have that information written down just exit out of that and what you'll need to do from there on um, open up a new browser just go to your web browser and type in the default gateway oops 
Okay, so mine's already there. You'll be greeted by the login page for your router. Um, the username is usually admin. The pass, well, it could be admin. I'm not saying usually. Uh, use, username might be admin. Password might be password, or you can maybe just leave it blank and log in like me. Um, but you really got to find out on your own. Maybe ask your parents or something. Okay, so every router is going to look different. And look for something along the lines of port forwarding, port triggering, or virtual servers. Or and if you can't find it on the main main page, it might be under like an advanced tab or something like mine is. So just click on that. And once you get to the port forwarding part, just make sure you click the check mark box here so it's active, and then give it a title. And you're going to have to port forward port 25565. That's the default port for Minecraft. Port forward both TCP and UDP. You're going to have to do both. And then where it says the IP address, just put your IPv4 there. And just in case if you guys change the port for whatever reason and the server properties, you're going to have to port forward that number that you changed it, changed it to here. Okay? So now that we got that covered, just save changes, save settings, or whatever. Let your router restart. And once it restarts, you will be officially port forwarded. And people should be able to join your network. Okay. Okay. So now we'll figure out how to, for people to join your uh, server. So go to Google and type in IP chicken and click on the first link give them the number that you see here not my number but give them the number that you get when you type that in and you go to that website give them that number and tell them to join using that number okay and once you've done that um, open up minecraft and uh, log in and then con to connect to your own server you can type local host and if localhost doesn't work for you then type in the IPv4 um, oh. oh the server's not even up derp herp a derp okay that was embarrassing um uh yeah okay anyways so disconnect and there you go. You're on your uh shit, my shit's laggy. Okay. You're on your very own Minecraft server. 1.3 bucket. Yes. Now watch the other video to get the plugins and please thumbs up and all that stuff. Thanks guys. Bye.